Okay, so today we're in Arcadia again, and the server has reset because, well, new map release, and the rankings are pretty much done. Rewards have most likely been distributed already, and as of recording, it's only been not even 24 hours since, well, the server opened up again, and if I look at the leaderboards, look at number one. That's a ton of money for literally not even 24 hours. So that's going to be a lot to catch up to. I don't even think I'm going to go anywhere near that because one, I don't have as much free time as these guys. And two, I, it's just one day. How many hours did each of you put to get that much money in a day? So, yeah, I don't think I'll be catching up to the top anytime soon. Let me look at top three. Oh, man. Okay, this one right now is doable. But at the same time, that's still a lot. This looks a little sus, not gonna lie. ETDH, ETZ2, ET0Q. That looks like a bunch of alts. Just in an island together. But anyways, that's not why we're here. Um, we are going to be going to an island. And I'm going to basically share my idea of a decent start. So first off, rewards. Get whatever you can here. There's a bunch of stuff. You can get keys and all that stuff. And if you have a rank, well, there you go. You get more keys. And don't even worry about purchasing a rank sometimes, because if you look at monthly crates, look at this thing. You get, you have a chance to literally get a rank, like a permanent rank. That's pretty insane. But yeah, everything has been reset. Uh, like my robots, not there anymore. Um, I only have 10k, zero fragments, zero essence. I don't think I'll be catching up to top three anytime soon, but for now, I guess we just open this and see what happens. We'll just open all, see what we get. Now that is not a lot of money, but it's a decent start. Okay, a tag, orb, a blaze spawner. Okay, then not too bad. A gear loot box. Um, This thing came back, oh my gosh. Uh, mini game starter, another cash note, XP cow spawner. Okay, I think that's all of my keys. Yeah, that's all of my keys. I don't have any more. Okay, cash note, cash note, and this one. All right, we're starting with three and a half mil and two spawners. Drop that. Get all these tags in because, well, they're going to be gone in like a month anyway. So what is this? Armor sets? This honestly looks a little different from what I've seen last time. So let's go to island. Is it still the same? Farm island, modern island, void island. Um, To be honest, I honestly think that either you know what we did farming island last time we got to start with a bunch of farms but let's try modern island because i feel like void island is arguably the best one because you have the most space for farms but let's try modern island see what it looks like okay you're not gonna attack me, right? Right? We're, we're all good here? Okay, I think we're all good here. Okay, is this... Okay, just a normal kit member. Any of these things do anything? Okay. So anyways, 
this should quite literally be the first thing you do. You go to your island, right? And what did I just get? Gamer boots? Sure. But this is the first thing you should do. Ignore all this stuff. You go to the shop. You go to like... Um, where is it? Where would it be? Am I blind? Here, food and farming. And I think that the cane farm is the best farm. And this is mainly because it's the easiest to farm. You don't have to look down. You don't have to go like diagonal or whatever. You just go straight. And this is arguably like the most value you can get. So let me just buy a few of these things. Let me grab the cobble. No, actually, let me grab the wood. There we go. And, well, we can just start building out. Because we're going to immediately start farming. And the reason for this is because I mentioned it in my, like, Omni tool guide. You want to focus on these things. And from what I said, feed haste, sure, but, or of course, key finder also, but you want this essence investment, you want essence greed, you want, well, you, first off, you just want to prioritize essence. Essence is what causes you to upgrade all of your tools and stuff. So getting to upgrade those. First is very important. So let me place down this farm. I want to have the max amount of space possible. Is this the most? No. Okay. Well, if I can keep going, I'm just going to keep going. But yeah, the more space you can fill up, the better. And this is actually a lot bigger than I thought. This island is actually really big. Oh my gosh. Is that the farthest I can go? No, we can go a little farther. Okay. So, place this down. Alright. Um, can I do this? No. We'll just type in yes. So, it'll just build itself. We'll let that go. I love that so much. It makes it so much easier. Imagine placing all of this by hand in Hypixel Skyblock. Sure, we have like builders ones there, but this is free. You don't even have to be around. So yeah, start building your farms. You need them. Start building farms immediately. Like go for essence. Money. Money is actually not that hard to get here. So you can grab essence. You can start making farms and stuff. If you start with spawners like I did and have like keys and stuff, then go ahead and make a spawner farm. Start that up already. Might as well, right? Like cow, uh, cow and blaze. You might as well. It's not going to hurt you. It's only going to benefit you in the end. So might as well. And if you want me to be honest, I don't know why. I don't know why we have these tools, like, aside from the sword, because, well, I don't think you can use the other sword outside of the island, but the sword, um, the shovel, and the axe, yeah, the axe, um, the pickaxe, and the hoe, I don't know why we have those. Oh, there we go, look at that. Amazing. And it's placing down the sugarcane fully grown already. So you don't have to do that. They place this, which is arguably the most annoying part. At least in my opinion. I think this just placing this is annoying. So yeah, two. Look at all this. Two of this. One over here. And the reason why I built it was because of this free wall, basically. You can extend it all the way. And maybe I should have... Could that have fit two? Could this have fit two farms? 
I think it could have. Yeah, I think this it could have. If I built this all the way here, maximize the space, it could have a really good sugarcane farm. And it doesn't even have to be multiple layers too. It can just be one layer. Okay. Oh, well, now I know for next time. Um, let's build this here. Is that the best possible place? Um, I think so. So we'll just type yes. And there we go. Now the second farm's gonna build. We'll just let that do its thing. I think we can have multiple going at the same time, actually. So dirt would be the dirt would be like right here, right? Come on. You're gonna show me cobblestone first. Let me see how this thing's built. So three three things or two things of cobblestone. One dirt on this side. Yep, right here. Okay. So if I place this down here. Alright. Go with yes and now we have two building around the same time look at that love it so yeah get get your farms up get your spawners up immediately go for like money and essence greed if you get essence greed then basically all of these upgrades are free you know they don't cost money to upgrade it just says essence so upgrade this, um, you get essence from farming, a bunch of it, which means you can upgrade your mob sword immediately, get like hay sharpness strength, all that stuff, money greed, you can start with that if you want, uh, pickaxe if you want to go mining, they have some pretty good starting stuff too, and fishing if you want to do fishing after farming, I think fit um not fishing farming is should be the first one you should always do yeah i think farming should be the first one you always do unless you want to do fishing because it has essence greed to start with and well where was the one where it goes faster right here speed up fishing time that is a level 10 rod, so that's going to take a little while. So, yeah, it's going to take a little while. And, well, if you don't want to wait that, then might as well get started with something that can boost you faster. Yes, there we go. Look at that. We built this in how long? And we didn't even have to... Bam click placing placing blocks. That's insane. I love it. So yeah. Start with farming. Prioritize essence. And you should be good. My progress here is gonna be very slow. So I don't think I'll ever make it way up there in the rankings. Or just anywhere high in the rankings in general. In any ranking. So that sucks for me. But at the same time, I could at least, like, learn this. Just learn the basics of this. Learn how to progress faster and all that stuff. And, well, provide you guys with information. So yeah, there's a lot to the server. So I need to do a good bit of research. Like, maybe, yeah, if I can fit a whole nother farm here. That means I can potentially fit another one on that side too. And just imagine just a full layer of sugarcane farm or even just half the base. That is a really big sugarcane farm. And if you can farm that just once a day even, that would be great. You would make a lot. You would get a bunch of... Um, farming XP from this, you would, let me actually go to skills, slash skills, right, is farming a skill, there we go, 
So you would grab a bunch of farming XP, which means you also get a bunch of money, a bunch of fragments, a bunch of essence too, so you can level up. And just make your life easy. Yeah, look at that. Farming 32. It's not half bad. 10 million essence. That is insane. It's not too much. It really isn't. 10 million, not a lot at all. But just getting it to start with, and for free too. Basically for free. That is great. So I'm going to flood my farm, or flood my base, with sugar canes. I am probably going to like light up this place. Because mobs can still spawn, which honestly kind of sucks. Is, is this enough space? This is going to bother me for a little bit. Is this enough space for this? For another farm? I have no idea. But yeah, start off with farming that many times um go for essence first you should be starting good as for me if i can make some time for myself then i will gladly like grind out the skills you know grind this out um make a little farm just get a nice little start going you know but for now i'll end it off here and we'll see you next time.